All right, YouTube. Today we're going to solve for the electric field which is produced by two charges along some line, in this case, this point right here. Now, the equation for electric field is given by... this equation, where K is Coulomb's constant, Q is the charge we're concerned with, and R is the distance between the point we're looking at and the charge that we're worrying about. Now the issue in finding the electric field at this point is that there's two charges in this problem. And so the question may come up, which charge do we use right here? And the answer actually is both. Now each charge is producing its own electric field right here at this point. The catch is, because we have two different charges, we're gonna have two electric fields here. But what we're trying to solve for today is really the net or the total electric field at this point as a result of both charges. So we're gonna apply this equation for electric field to each charge individually, and then we're gonna add those two electric fields together, and that's gonna give us the total electric field. So starting with this one microcoulomb charge, we've got Coulomb's constant, multiplied by this charge, that's one times 10 to the micro, that means negative sixth coulombs, divided by the distance between this charge and this point we're concerned with. In this case, it's not one meter, but it's one plus one more meter, or two meters from here to there. And that gives us an electric field strength of 22,500 newtons per coulomb. Looking next at this charge, we've got Coulomb's constant times the magnitude of this charge, that's negative two microcoulombs. So that's negative two times 10 to the, that's a negative six, I just drew it kind of poorly, over the distance between this charge and this point we're concerned with, which in this case is one meter. And that gives us negative 18,000 newtons per coulomb. So now we know the magnitude of each of these electric fields. Let's take a look at exactly what they're doing at this point here. See, the electric field from this charge is acting to the right on this point right here. And I say this electric field is positive, not because it's acting to the right in the direction which we typically call a positive direction, but rather, if we were to place a positive test charge here, that positive charge would be pushed to the right or really away from this one microcoulomb charge over here. Now, if we were to place a positive test charge right here, the electric field from this charge would be acting to the left. And it would be acting to the left not because this value right here is negative, but rather it would be acting to the left because a positive charge would be attracted to this negative charge over here. So ultimately our total electric field is simply going to be the sum of these two competing electric fields. Now we've got this 2250 to the right and these 18,000 to the left. Now I know it seems strange that I just went through to explain to you that the positive here and the negative on this electric field here really weren't all that important. We needed to worry about the direction, only to a minute later wind up putting the negative back in here. But realize this negative really doesn't have anything to do with the fact that this value right here came out negative. This negative is because these 18,000 newtons per coulomb were acting to the left. So putting these two values together, this is gonna give us a total electric field strength of 15,750 newtons per coulomb to the left. Now, if we were to put a known charge right here, we could simply multiply the electric field by that quantity of charge in order to get the actual force on that charge at this point. So this has been how to solve for the electric field at some point in line with two charges. I hope you found this useful. And on that note, that's all for now.